Symptoms of a bad timing belt and causes of bad timing belt. Although your car is powered by a large number of components, it also has a variety of smaller parts, such as the chain drive, the operating fluid and the timing belt, which ensure a consistent transfer of power. The timing belt is one of the most crucial components in your car. It connects the camshafts and crankshafts. You can imagine that the timing for the exhaust and inlet valves must be precise and accurate to ensure the proper operation of the engine. Even a small delay in opening or closing either of these two valves can cause the engine to fail, if not worse. This video will explain the timing belt, and how it works inside an internal combustion engine. You can learn more about the timing belt by watching the video until the end. We will discuss the symptoms and how you can replace the belt yourself. Let's first familiarize ourselves with the timing belt and how it functions inside an engine. Click on the subscribe button and like to get notified when a new video has been uploaded. Let's continue. How does the timing belt work? As the name implies, the timing belt is a simple drive belt that transfers motion from the crankshaft onto the valves in order to adjust their timing. The timing belt is responsible for both the piston and the valve, ensuring that the engine runs smoothly at all times. The belt's construction is simple, as it's made of rubber and has an internal structure with teeth that lock onto the gear teeth. You may know that the crankshaft, valves and other components must be perfectly synchronized to ensure perfect intake and exhaust. The engine pulls the piston downwards when activated, creating a vacuum inside the combustion chamber. This is then filled up with air and fuel mixture. In order to achieve this, the inlet must be opened at the exact moment the piston reaches its lowest position. The piston is then pushed up to compress the mix and reduce its ignition temperature as low as a spark. Both valves should be closed at this point to prevent pressure loss. The spark plug ignites the mixture of air and fuel, causing it to explode. This explosion creates excessive pressure, pushing the piston down. The carbon and other gases produced by this chemical reaction should be removed. The exhaust valve is opened and the gas residue is expelled. The exhaust valve must open precisely at this moment, or else the pressure inside the combustion motor could increase beyond the design limit. Let's look at the timing belt to see how it keeps the valves in perfect harmony. As you already know, the timing belt is connected directly to the camshaft and the crankshaft, which control the engine valves. The crankshaft's motion is then directly linked to the valves. This keeps them in sync. A timing belt is required to perform at its best in order to ensure the proper operation of an engine. How to identify a bad timing belt? It may not be difficult to understand what will happen if your timing belt fails. It would firstly cause a mismatch in the operation of the valves, which will seriously reduce the efficiency of your motor. The air-fuel mix intake will not be the correct proportion or the exhaust valve won't create an opening to allow residue gases to exit the chamber. A further delay in timing could also lead to an excessive increase in pressure in the chamber, which can cause unfortunate incidents. You can easily avoid such situations if you are able to detect early signs of a bad timing belt. Timing belts are not known to fail or break very easily. If the timing belt is damaged you may notice some anomalies in engine performance. You can check the timing belt if you notice these symptoms frequently. If you don't want to be stranded in the middle of nowhere with a broken engine, keep your eyes open for these symptoms. 1. Incorrect idling of engine. The engine doesn't stop immediately when you release the accelerator pedal. It continues to run at a slow speed, which is known as idling. The timing belt transfers the crankshaft's motion to the valves even when the engine is idling. This allows the camshafts to move slowly but steadily. When the timing belt is worn, it can slip between the driven and driving gears, which will cause a slight mismatch. If you hear a different sound coming from your car when it is idling, this could be a sign. The engine will stop idling if the belt slips further. 2. Misfire of the engine. A bad timing belt can also affect the firing rate of an engine. The engine's firing rate is also affected by a bad timing belt. This slippage can cause the inlet slash exhaust to open and shut at an incorrect timing, resulting in misfire. The air-fuel mix could escape before combustion occurs if the exhaust valve is opened too quickly. This will result in a shorter cycle. A large amount of air-fuel will result in an improper combustion and excessive pressure inside the engine. The belt may be worn out and need to be replaced soon if your engine misfires. If you don't replace it, the belt could cause irreversible damages to the combustion chamber. This can affect all the components inside, such as the piston rings, valves and pistons. 3. Unusual smoke coming from exhaust. Smoke coming from your engine or exhaust pipe in an unusually large amount is not a good thing. It can be caused by a faulty timing belt, among other things. Rarely is the smoke actually water vapor. 
it is most often a sign of a serious problem with the engine's overall performance. You will notice that a bad timing chain is causing the smoke. It also causes a strong fuel smell, which is an indication of improper combustion. Check the color of the smoke as well. If the smoke is darker than normal, this means that your engine is using more fuel. You can imagine that this will reduce your car's mileage. A worn out timing chain is to blame, as it fails to close the inlet valve at the right time. This allows too much fuel and air mixture into the combustion chamber. The combustion will also be louder, and the residual gas is denser with too much fuel in the chamber. You will notice a thicker exhaust gas coming from your tailpipe. 4. Reduced oil pressure. You may be aware that the combustion chamber in the engine contains certain amount of oil. The oil, which is engine oil, is used to lubricate the pistons and cylinders. Oil also helps to maintain the temperature inside the chamber, as there is constant combustion inside. Engine oil should always be kept at a specific pressure for optimal performance. It will change if your timing belt does not perform well. Incorrect combustion occurs inside due to the non-uniform timing of the valves. This causes internal wear. It usually breaks the camshaft, and the pieces are mixed with the engine. The engine oil pressure drops as a result. The majority of cars are equipped with a sensor that will alert you if the engine oil pressure drops dramatically. Low engine oil pressure may also indicate a timing belt problem. 5. Inlet slash exhaust valve or broken piston. The timing belt, as we have already mentioned, can cause the piston to wear out or damage any other important part in the engine. This is the worst symptom, as it means that the timing belt has irreversible damage. It is usually the case that it damages the pistons or valve severely, requiring a replacement. The timing belt could break if the problem persists. The crankshaft will be completely out of sync, and the valves may get permanently damaged. Causes of a bad timing belt You can identify the cause of timing belt failure by identifying these problems. You can prevent unscheduled downtime by visually inspecting your timing belt drives to identify these six common failures. 1. Misalignment. Misalignment can be a major cause of timing belt failure. Misalignment can be responsible for excessive or uneven tooth wear in belt tracking, as well as tensile failure. You can extend the life of your belts by checking and aligning shafts and pulleys. 2. Excessive load. If the teeth of the timing belt are shearing off, it is likely that excessive load was the cause. Excessive load and shock loads can also cause excessive tooth wear or tensile failure. You'll need to redesign your drive to fix this problem. 3. Under tensioning belt. A belt that is under tension will cause tooth skipping or ratcheting. Use a tension gauge on your timing belts to ensure the right tension. Under tensioning may also lead to excessive wear of teeth and excessive noise. 4. Weak drive structure. If you have excessive vibrations or your timing belts appear to be stretched, it could be that your drive structure is weak. You can fix the problem by strengthening the drive structure. 5. Pulleys that are damaged or worn out. The belt life will be reduced by a significant amount if the timing pulleys are damaged or worn. Belt wear or damage can be caused by worn teeth. Belts can be damaged by nicks or gouges. Replace worn pulleys. 6. Debris on the timing pulley or motor. Debris is the most common cause of timing belt and pulley problems. Dirt on teeth can abrade the belt, and oil can damage the belt's materials. Rust and dirt can be removed with a stiff bristle brush. Oil and grease should be cleaned off with a soft cloth. Any of the above causes for timing belt failure can be attributed to debris, so clean your pulleys, and install a shield on that drive. The timing belt will fail eventually due to teeth loss in normal wear. Any other reason for failure should be considered abnormal. Consult a timing belt troubleshooting guide for a complete list of failures, and what to do to correct them. When should you replace the timing belt? You need to know the exact time when you have to replace your timing belt before we can discuss how to do so. In general, the manufacturer of your car has already created a schedule that includes the replacement timing belt. More information can be obtained from your vehicle's manufacturer. Standard replacement intervals are between 70,000 and 100,000 miles. The schedule above may not apply to everyone. You may need to replace your timing belt sooner if you have an off-road vehicle. If you drive on a bad road every day, your timing belt may be damaged by external factors. You should monitor your vehicle and replace the timing belt as soon as any of these symptoms are noticed. How do you replace a timing belt? Let's move on to the most crucial part of this guide, how to replace the belt correctly. Follow the instructions carefully, especially if it is your first time accessing internal engine parts. 
However, we still recommend that the work be done by professionals and that you observe the procedure to learn how to do it yourself the next time. How to replace the timing belt You will need to first gain access to the belt. This is an internal engine part, so it will be difficult to remove. 1. Remove the accessories that cover the engine to gain access to the timing belt. Remove the engine cover to reveal the internal engine components. 2. You should now carefully examine the parts to determine which ones need replacing. It could be that the camshaft or pulley is damaged, causing problems with the timing belt. 3. Remove the timing belt from the engine if you know it is damaged. 4. Then, install the new belt in the engine. It can be tricky to install the new timing belt, you may need to put a bit of tension on it to get it to fit over the pulley. 5. Close the engine after installing the timing belt and place all accessories in their proper places. 6. You shouldn't detect any engine misfiring or irregularities in the valve timing, when you test it. Finally, the engine of your vehicle is a complex part that includes many additional components, such as the chain drive or working fluid. We have explained the engine timing belt and what it is. There is also detailed information about bad timing belt symptoms, and what to do if you notice one or more of them. You can contact us through the comments section if you have any questions about the information in the video. We will do our best to answer your question as quickly as possible. Please subscribe and like my channel. Thank you. Mm -hmm.